It is such a great pleasure for Teen Infinite to be able to speak with the dancers from the hit ABC Family Series, Dancing Fools. We have with us... Uh, this is Britt Stewart. This is Jeremy Barthel. And, and this is Ryan Novak. Thank you all for joining us today. No problem. Thank you for having us. For having us. All right. Uh, can each of you tell us how you get started in dancing? Uh, yeah, this is Time speaking. I got started in dancing when I was three years old. My mom was a dance is a dance teacher um, and was one of my teachers growing up. So I started when I was really young, and I did it up until I was eighteen, and then I moved to LA to start dancing professionally. Um, this is Britt speaking. I started dance when I was three years old, and um, I went to Artistic Fusion Dance Academy in Denver, Colorado, and there I was a part of the whole competitive dance world and um, competed dance up until I was 17, and then I moved to Los Angeles to continue my professional dance career. I um, actually started working professionally when I was about, I think, 13 years old, and um, and then and then now I'm here in LA dancing and doing what I love to do. <laughs> uh, this is Jeremy speaking. Um, I actually started very late with dance. Um, I started when I was 14. Previous to that, I had done uh, gymnastics for seven years from six to 13, and then I did musical theater with singing, dancing, and acting um, from 13 until about, you know, 14, and I fell in love with the dance aspect of musical theater, so I wanted to pursue that, and um, I trained at a studio, and I joined a hip-hop dance group. Um, I had opportunities to work at SeaWorld for a few summers, and um a few uh, Halloween seasons uh, while I was still in high school. And then um, I did competition when I was 16 and 17 uh, through the studio that I was going to. Um, I decided to try to come up to L.A. when I was 19. I got signed with my first agency at 19, and then I moved from San Diego to Los Angeles when I was 20, and I have been here ever since then. This is Ryan. Um, I started pretty young, at eight years old. Uh, my older sister was big into musical theater, so she used to force feed me all these uh, old musicals like Singing in the Rain and Guys and Dolls, and um, so I was a little kid trying to mimic all the stuff I was seeing on these movies, and then eventually uh, my parents put me in uh, classes, and I grew up in the competition world until I was 18, graduated high school, and I moved out to Los Angeles and began my professional career. Okay, and all of you are now on ABC Families Dancing Fools. Congratulations for that. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, how did y'all uh, come to be on the show? Um, this is Britt speaking. Um, we all um, came to be on the show um, through the choreographer, Marguerite Derricks. We've all worked with her um, a lot throughout our professional careers, and she held a little audition and we learned choreography, she put us on tape, and then um, I, I think the producers picked us from there. Okay. Um, how would y'all describe the show to someone who may not have seen it? Uh, this is Time Speaking. The show is a, it's a, similar to an America's Funniest, Ti America's Funniest Home Videos type of a show with all dance videos. And it's a mix of that with a game show. And we are kind of the extra entertainment factor of the show. We're like the modern day fly girls slash guys of the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah. uh, how much rehearsing do you guys have to do to prepare for each episode? Uh, this is Jeremy speaking. Um, we had uh, two days in the studio uh, where we learned anywhere from like 10 to 15 different snippets, uh, which we will use like going out into a commercial or coming back from a commercial. So we learn a lot. Um, I, I believe our first rehearsal, we learned somewhere around 44 eight counts of choreography wow. um, in, one, in one day. 
so we just have a lot of um, a lot of choreography to remember, and um, and then after that, you know, it's kind of it can change by what the producers want. If something staging wise doesn't work, you know, then we have to improvise. So. Uh, you know, Marguerite Derrick does a lot of the work uh, with the choreography, but we also have to um, be ready and on our toes to improvise um, when need be. Oh, well, that's great. Um, how has the cast come together on the show? Because it seems like they're all having a blast on it. <laughs> um, this is Britt speaking. Oh, you know, the first day that all of us came together it was like an immediate bond. Our host, Melissa Peterman, is absolutely hilarious, and she is such an amazing person that she kind of brought all four of us dancers and Guy Tori together as like a big family, and we just completely bonded, and we hit it off um, right away. We had so much fun filming the show. Okay. Uh, we know this is beyond your control, but do you think maybe the audience might get the wrong impression about the show based upon the title of it? Uh, this is Jeremy speaking. Um, you know, I think that the show is meant to be entertaining and fun. And, um, you know, it's, it's really, it's not the most serious show in the world. It's meant to be fun and easy to watch and engaging for the audience. And, you know, I think uh, Melissa Peterman does a really good job of conveying, you know, that fun factor. And, um, I mean... I think if someone were to hear the title of the show um, and then watch the show, it makes complete sense. So I think that uh, Dancing Fools as well as ABC Family, you know, has done a really good job of putting together a really good product that is fun for the audience and also, you know, fun for us performers. Mm -hmm. How would you compare it to other dance shows that are maybe similar, like Dancing with the Stars? It's very different, uh, this is kind speaking, mm -hmm. from any other dance show because except for the four of us, which are professional dancers on the show and, um, like I said, kind of, you know, an extra entertainment factor to the show, there's no professionals competing. So these are more, um, you know, amateur people that are amateur dancers that are just having fun and making silly, fun, goofy videos. So it's different in the way that it's just more about entertainment and, um, you know, it's supposed to be funny. It's not supposed to be professionals competing for first place, if that makes sense. Yes, it totally does. Um, do you think this show will have any, like, celebrity guest stars on it? Um, this is Britt speaking. Mm -hmm. We actually did, um, I think it was uh, the second episode, we had, we had the cast of Baby Daddy come on to the show as... Um, as as guests, and that's actually um, another show on ABC Family that Melissa Peterman stars in, and so that was really fun to get a chance to meet the baby, um, the cast of Baby Daddy, and I'm sure the audience and the ABC Family fans really enjoyed that as well. Okay, well, thank you. Um, this is this is Penny. I'm going to jump in and tell you that yes. Joey Lawrence also appears on the show on the July 12th episode of the show, Joey Lawrence makes a surprise appearance, and Melissa, Joan Hart, and Joey Lawrence have a video that airs during the episode. All right, thank you so much for that information. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Penny. Uh, <laughs> y'all guys, have, some of y'all have worked with Disney, and some of y'all have worked with uh, other Disney stars in the past. Uh, can you tell us what it's like to work with Disney and some of the stars that you have? Um, this is Britt speaking. Um, I've worked with Disney quite a bit. I um, I was in all of the High School Musical um, movies, and to get to work with Zac Efron and Vanessa Hudgens and Ashley Tisdale and Lucas Gabriel, it was, um, you know, everyone that comes from Disney is really awesome, and they're all so talented and really um, awesome people. And, um, and I had you know, such a great time working on those films, and um, I'm also, um, I'm, I'm a part of a movie called Teen Beach Movie that um, airs on Disney Channel um, July 19th, and um, I worked with Ross Lynch and um, Maya Mitchell on those, on, on that movie, and that was a blast, and I had a really awesome time on that. Oh, well, congratulations with that. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> 
Uh, does anybody else want to weigh in on that one? Uh, this is Ryan. Hi, Ryan. I also have had the pleasure to uh, work quite a bit with Disney. Um, I did High School Musical 2 with both Brit and Tyne. Um, I also have uh, had the pleasure of working closely with Miley Cyrus for the past five or six years. And through that, we've uh, encountered Disney quite a bit. And they've always been um, great to us. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> are there any other projects that you guys are involved with at this time? Um, like currently what we're working on right now? Yes, uh-huh. Uh, this is Jeremy speaking. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm currently working on the Macy's Passport Fashion Show, which will be taking place um, in uh, Chicago, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and I believe Minneapolis between July and September. Okay. Anybody else got any projects they'd like to tell us the fans about? <laughs> Uh, I, this is Tyne speaking. Um, this season is done right now, but I work on Dancing with the Stars as a, like a guest dancer um, quite often. So this past season, when we finished Dancing Fools, I did the last four episodes of Dancing with the Stars. Okay. Um, this is Britt speaking. Um, I just got finished dancing on a new ABC family called Sing Your Face Off, which I believe airs sometime late this summer. And so all the fans can look out for me on that show. This is Ryan. I'm currently in rehearsals with my band, Friends of the Family, uh, for upcoming shows around Los Angeles. Uh -huh. uh, thank you, guys. Um, what advice would you give to fans if they might wish to become dancers? Uh, this is time speaking. I would say that if they are interested in becoming a professional dancer, to take as many different styles of dance as you can from as many different teachers because the more knowledge you have, um, regardless of what style you're you're, you want to dance in professionally, having training in all of them really helps across the board. Um, this is Britt speaking. I would just say that if you love to dance and it's, and it's something that you want to do, stop. always go for what your passion is and don't let it, you know, don't let anything come in your way and just go for it. Uh, this is Jeremy speaking. Um, I couldn't agree more with Tyne and with Britt about, you know, um, venturing out and taking different styles of dance because uh, the more versatile you are, the more employable you can be. Um, it's really important to be able to work with uh, a lot of different choreographers, and each choreographer has their own personal style. Uh, so the more adaptable that you can be as a professional dancer, uh, the better it's going to be for you in the long run. And, you know, um, dance is definitely a fun job, but it can be um, strenuous at times um, on the body. And it's really important that it's something that you're really passionate and in love with uh, because it takes a lot of work. You have to be very dedicated and, you know, you have to be very focused. Uh, L.A. is a very fun place to be, um, but it is also very important to stay on top of your training and, you know, to make sure that your job and your career is kind of your main focus while you're here. I think we're in an amazing time of being able to share information. Um, you can by a uh, couple of clicks on the keyboard and you can see what's going on all over the world. Um, use that as a, as a source for you. Um, I was limited to just the teachers that I had in my surrounding area growing up. Uh, now you can go online and you can see what's going on in France. You can see what's going on in London, um, what's going on in L.A. Use that. Use that resource uh, to further your abilities. Uh, Teeninfinite.com, sure, thanks for you for chatting with us today. And we look forward to seeing more of you guys on Dancing Floor. We wish you all the best of luck with the show. Thank you, Thank so, you so much. Thank you so much.